you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap your hands, keep clapping. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, clap your hands. Good job. Everybody's so happy. Jam Club. It's so good to see you all. I was just sitting here reading my Bible. And today I'm going to read this story to you after we get started with the memory verse. Now, how many of you have remembered to be doing your memory verse at night? Yep, I see a few hands go up. Put, put them up if you have. Wave them. <gasps> well done to you. Well, this week we've got a new memory verse. So, if you're ready for the memory verse, I want you to clap your hands twice. I, mean, I could hardly hear my own clap. If you're ready for the memory verse, I want you to clap your hands twice. That was good. Are you ready? So, I need you to listen first because it's a new memory verse. We haven't done this one yet. So, what I need you to do is listen carefully and then say it with me. And then every day this week, I want you to say the memory verse, because this verse is really important. When you're scared, sometimes you can say this verse to yourself and it will help you to not be scared. So our memory verse today has some actions to go along with it. I know you all like actions. So are you ready? Listen to me say it first. Perfect love drives away fear. 1 John 4 verse 18. That wasn't that bad, was it? It wasn't long. No, I'm sure we can all say it together. Let's say it on three. One, two, three. Perfect love drives away fear. 1 John 4 verse 18. Now, we need to get some actions going with it. So say it again with me on three and copy the actions that I make. One, two, three. Perfect love drives away fear. 1 John 4 verse 18. Let's say it one more time. Perfect love drives away fear. That was really good. Now, today's story is about Moses who sent out spies to check out the land of Canaan. And this was the land that God promised them. And when the spies got there, they found people and cities. The people were big and the cities were large and impressive. And so we 
are going to have an opportunity today. If you're at home and you've got some building blocks, what I want for you to do is build me the biggest city you can. So build a big structure. You can press pause or have someone else press pause. And the activity today is for you to build the biggest structure that you can. Sometimes you can make the big the structure bigger than you. So go ahead, press pause right now, and then come back after you've built it. See you soon. You can press pause if you haven't done so. If you don't have building blocks, it's okay, because I'll carry on with the story. For those of you who don't have building blocks, or for those of you that have finished building your blocks, welcome back. So I'm sure you all built a big city that you built. Now, when the spies saw the land of Canaan, 10 of them were scared. It was a big city and the people were big. Make, make, make a scared face with me. Only two of the spies that went out weren't scared. They knew that God was with them. And they had the courage to follow God. So let's jump into the story that I was just reading to myself. And together, we're going to find out more about what happened. So finally, God's people came to the land that God had promised them. See, they had been walking around for a while, looking for the land that God had promised them. And God said, Send some men into the land to see what it's like. So Moses chose 12 men. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can go seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and, and, and 12 over there. Yeah, you too. And, and he called them all up. You see them all here. And he said, go into the land. And then come back and tell us if it is good or bad. Are the people strong or are they weak? So here's Moses, oh, here's Moses telling the people, telling the spies to go into the land. They had to walk in there and find out, are the people strong or are they weak? So the men went into the new land. And they brought back some fruit. They said, it's a good land, but the people are strong. They will fight us and they will win. And the Israelites were afraid. Do you see them here? Whoops, over here. They look afraid, don't they? Oh, we cannot take the land, they said. Now remind me, didn't we just learn a memory verse about fear? Perfect love drives away fear. So the men went into the land. They brought back some fruit and they said, it's a good land, but the people are strong. They will fight us and they will win. We're afraid. We cannot take the land, they said. But Joshua and Caleb said, do not be afraid. God is with us. But the people would not listen to them. God was angry with his people. They did not believe he would help them. So God said, you cannot have the land yet. You will have to travel for 40 more years. And that's just what they did. So Joshua and Caleb weren't scared. They said, God is with us. God will give us the victory. God will give us the land. Remember, perfect love drives away fear. Joshua and Caleb were not scared to follow God. But the rest of the people were scared because of what the other 10 spies had seen and what they said. And they were too scared to follow God. They were scared to obey God. Huh. 
Didn't we just come out of a, a story about someone who didn't obey God? He went in the other direction and he ended up in a fish, in a fish's tummy. Yeah, that was Jonah, wasn't it? He didn't obey God. And so because they were scared and because they didn't want to go, they, they couldn't take Canaan yet. This was the land that God had promised to them, but they were scared. So they had to carry on walking for 40 years until they could get into the land that God had promised them. Now, see, we all get scared sometimes. I get scared sometimes when the lights are turned off. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I get scared when I don't know what to do. Sometimes I get scared when I hear something loud. But when we trust in God, like Joshua and Caleb, our fear disappears. You know, now, if, if that happens, I go, oh, I could be scared, but God is with me. Perfect love drives away fear. And I can say with confidence, I'm not scared. And you know what? I'm not scared to follow God either. It's amazing to follow God. So we're going to have a game. You know the game. Many of you have played this game before. It is a wonderful game of Simon Says. So the rules are quite simple. If Simon says to do something, what do you do? You do it. But if I say it, if I don't say Simon Says, do you do it? No. So Simon Says, stand up and clap your hands. Simon Says, keep on clapping your hands. Stop. How many of you stopped? Did Simon say to stop? No, Simon didn't say stop, so carry on clapping. Simon Says, clap louder. Simon Says, stop. Well done to everyone who listened carefully until Simon said. So Simon says to go ahead and sit down. Stand up. Now, Simon didn't say stand up. So Simon says sit down. And, and now I've got some questions for you. So remind me. These are quite easy questions today. So you don't need to pr press pause. But how many spies did Moses send out? Do any of you remember? Say, say it again. 12, that's right. And 10 of them came back scared. But which two spies trusted God? Do you remember their names? That's right, Joshua and Caleb. Now, can God give us courage to follow him? Yeah, he does. Our memory verse today, perfect love drives away fear. You know who's perfect love? God. He drives away fear. He makes it so we don't have to be scared. That's good. Right. Let's finish today with a prayer. And then I want you to say the memory verse one more time. And then go about this week knowing that perfect love drives away fear. Let's pray, friends. Put your hands together, close your eyes, and let's pray. Uh, make sure you're all closing your eyes. Good. Dear Jesus, help us to always obey you, God. Thank you that you drive away fear. And we love you. We want to obey you in everything. Amen. So say the memory verse with me. Perfect love drives away fear. Goodbye, friends. It was so good to see you. Now practice that memory verse this whole week. Bye for now.